Welcome to the Florida Department of Transportation's open house public meeting for the St. Johns River to Sea Loop Trail project in South Daytona and Daytona Beach. This project is located along South Palmetto Avenue near the Halifax River. The improvements proposed along this corridor are funded for design and financial project identification number 439-865-2. The goal of this project is to close a gap in the St. Johns River to Sea Loop Trail by constructing a shared use non-motorized trail along Palmetto Avenue from Ridge Boulevard to Bevel Road. This segment of the trail loop is known as Section 5 of the Project Development and Environment Study recently conducted by the Florida Department of Transportation. Segment 4 at the southern limits of the project along the Daytona Beach portion of the trail at the northernmost limits are already constructed. The purpose of today's open house is to present information about the project and provide you an opportunity to ask questions and give feedback. This open house is being conducted in accordance with state and federal regulations including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act which requires that public participation be solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may contact Jennifer Smith, the FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, or Jacqueline Paramore, the FDOT Statewide Title VI Coordinator. Contact information is also on display near the sign-in table. The proposed trail along South Palmetto Avenue will remove the existing concrete sidewalk along the eastern right-of-way and replace it with a wider concrete trail designed to meet shared-use non-motorized trail or sun trail criteria. The project limits are approximately 1.3 miles long beginning at the existing pedestrian crossing at Ridge Boulevard, traveling northward to the Bevel Road intersection. At this location, the trail will cross South Palmetto Avenue and connect to the existing trail extending into Daytona Beach. The project development and environment study considered alternative alignments, impacts, and available right-of-way in the region. The South Palmetto Avenue corridor was selected as the best solution to close the trail gap. A conceptual design demonstrating the trail's viability was approved prior to the design phase of the project. Shared use paths and trails provide a vital and vibrant addition to multimodal transportation. With careful corridor selection and design, trails provide connectivity and safety for bicyclists, pedestrians, and vehicles which supports commerce and economic activity. This trail will be designed for non-motorized travel. Anticipated users will be pedestrian and bicycle commuters, recreational groups, local citizens, and vacationing tourists. To promote safety, the trail will be physically separated from the road to create a comfortable environment for all users. The proposed typical section of the shared use path will be 10 to 12 feet wide with grassed buffers at the edges of the path. The grassed buffer between the pavement edge of the existing road and the trail will provide the physical separation required by Sun Trail criteria. The paved surface of the trail will be made of concrete. Drainage will be enhanced by adding stormwater inlet structures and converting existing grate tops to bicycle and pedestrian traversable standards. All of the proposed features of this trail will be contained within the publicly owned and maintained right-of-way along with publicly owned easements. During construction, the existing concrete sidewalk will be removed and replaced with the proposed trail. Pedestrian and bicycle traffic will be temporarily maintained on the roadway pavement. Northbound vehicles will be detoured to nearby South Ridgewood Avenue, also known as US-1, and brought back to the corridor and the southbound lanes. The temporary barrier will allow vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists to safety travel the corridor while maintaining separation from the work zone. Openings in the temporary barrier will provide driveway access throughout the construction phase. 
The Phase 1 vehicle detour will divert northbound vehicles to the signalized intersection at Ridge Boulevard, turn them north on US-1, and return them to the corridor on Big Tree Road. The proposed traffic pattern features a clockwise rotation allowing for a series of right turn movements back to the corridor. This traffic flow is intended to minimize detour time by taking advantage of right turn on red movements at each intersection encountered. The Phase 2 detour will divert northbound vehicles to the signalized intersection at Big Tree Road, turn them north on US-1, and return them to the corridor on Bevel Road. Once again, the clockwise traffic pattern is intended to minimize detour time. Each of the two detour loops shown are approximately one mile in length. Open work zones within each detour phase will be approximately 500 to 1,000 feet long. Each detour phase may take up to four months to complete. The design phase for this portion of the trail began in early 2019 and is expected to be completed in spring 2021. Construction, which is estimated to cost $2.1 million, is not yet currently funded. We encourage you to learn more about this project and follow its progress by going to the FDOT Central Florida website, www.cflroads.com. The website contains links to easily access online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule, contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. You can find the project by typing in the financial project number 439-865-2 in the search bar. You can also locate the project by going to the Future Projects tab and clicking on Volusia County. Your input is very important and there are a few different ways you can participate. One way is to complete the comment form you received as you signed into the open house. You may complete the form while you are here and place it in the comment box or take it home and mail it back to the FDOT project manager Joseph Fontanelli at the address shown on the form. You may also provide comments to Mr. Fontanelli via email at joseph.fontanelli at dot.state.fl.us. All comments received or postmarked by January 27, 2020 will become part of the official public meeting record. The FDOT project manager Joseph Fontanelli may be reached by email or by phone at 386-943-5234. Thank you for attending the FDOT Open House Public Meeting for the St. Johns River to Sea Loop Trail Project along South Palmetto Avenue in South Daytona.